What's happening everybody? Welcome to another special edition, new release, first look episode of Ripping Packs. Today, got ourselves some more Series 2. Now this, obviously, if you watched the episode a bit ago, this just hit. Finally, retail at the Series 2 level of a hanger box. Picked this up at Target, $11.99. I know, they went up two bucks. But anyway, we're gonna rip this open and we're gonna take a look at what is inside the hanger box for Series 2. I'll see you in a second. Hi there, I'm Craig Michelson, and I just got back into the hobby after more than 15 years away. Join me as I reconnect with the hobby one pack at a time. Now let's rip some packs. Ribbon packs on this special edition first look new release. I keep on saying it, but it's a lot of words. But anyway, we're ripping open some more series two. Now, obviously, if you watch the channel, you know I haven't opened series two until today because I felt that the checklist wasn't warranted. And if you saw the blaster box rip, well, pretty evident. Anyway, what are we ripping? We are ripping open a brand new series two hanger box. Picked it up at Target just a bit ago. We all know hangers have bangers. I say hangers have the hits, but We've all had a couple crappy hangers here and there, and I will gladly not take one of them. You can, yeah, they're out there. But let, let's just say, hopefully we get something good in this one. Anyway, but before I even think of ripping this open, that button right there, you might it. Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> and we're just gonna go with the same comments I had on the on the blaster box. What's the rookie in here? You're actually like, hey, I admitted O'Neill Cruz is one I'm very high on, and most of you are like, oh, no, no crap. Uh, but I actually was high on him last year, and if you watch my channel in episodes, you knew that I was kind of high on him early on, and I was picking up a lot of his cards on my Monday Mail episodes. So yeah, would like to get one. Yeah, or I'd like to get a uh, short print as well of the three rookies that we all know and love: Bobby Witt, Julio Rodriguez, and Spencer Torkelson. Am I gonna get one? Probably not. But hey. Uh, beggars can't be choosers. So over here on the side is the actual odds for the hanger box. Now, obviously with these, you're, it, it's in that fat pack world where you have better odds, but you're also paying 12 bucks for 67 cards. So are you ready to see one giant cello being ripped open? Great, because that's what it's gonna be. Let's go again, here we go. Hanger box of Topps Series 2. We're looking for autographs and relics. Ha, <laughs> slim and none. We're gonna get, uh, we're looking for the Royal Blue base card parallels, which are going to be pretty much the standard retail this year amongst Target and Walmart, it looks like. 67 cards aside here. Vladdy, Daddy, Junior is the cover boy. Are you ready? Let's rip some packs. Let's go. Okay. I know, I say okay a lot. But here we go. And series two is going to be open now. And. All right, we got ourselves TJ Fradel. He's our first rookie, and he is the front of it, so there we go. But what else is inside? I guess we will have to find out together, you and me, as a family, as friends. Let's go ahead, and uh, I'd say, yeah, let's just bring everything. I uh, know we'll, we'll just go in this order because I know some of you like to see the allocation and the and how cards are put in there. I am the same. All right, we got ourselves TJ Fradel, as we mentioned. He's currently in, I believe, uh, in where, where is there uh louisville yeah he's currently in louisville for triple a for the reds going into the rookies we got dean kramer for the orioles mark canna uh canna uh, for the mets former oakland a we got alfonso rivas for the cubs look like he's sliding there he looks like henry roll the uh remember uh remember that movie rookie of the year yeah he looks like him anyway he's a rookie and he's sliding Going to side. David Bote, who uh, body, who we'll see if he's going to be back soon. Michael Chavez for the Pirates, wearing his Homestead Grays uni. There we got Stephen uh, Riggins, writings rookie for the Yankees, rookie pitcher, and get used to it because, like this, I said, the rookie, the checklist in general, the rookie checklist, and this is abysmal. Uh, Jose Barrero, I do throw. I am high on him. Otherwise known as Jose Garcia last year when you were opening some Series 1 and anything else. But Jose Garcia then took his mom's name, uh, maiden name when she died of uh, COVID. He's a hit in my eyes. Alex Dickerson for the Giants. Chris Owings for the Rockies. Josh Bell having a killer season. Probably might get traded. The Nationals. Andrew Benatendi, former Red Sox, wearing his Kansas City Monarchs. Alejandro Kirk, fun player to watch. Uh, hefty catcher. Trace Thompson, there with the Cubs, I'll show you real quick, but he now, he just uh, got traded to the Dodgers, um, back to the Dodgers, because he's originally uh, was, uh, he originally White Sox, then came up with, the, then got traded to the Dodgers, and yeah, the guy's journeyman. 
Clay Thompson's brother. Brad Miller for the Phillies. Charlie Barnes, pitcher for the Twins. Charlie Barnes right there. I do not know anything about Charlie, but he's going to go in the rookie pile either way. And we got our Alex Verdugo, our first PC hit of the day. Aaron Nola for the Phillies, the ace, pitching like an ace again this year. Connor Overton for the Pirates, the rookie uh, pitcher. Again, a lot of rookie pitchers in this thing, which is usually not very good. Lorenzo Cain, who just got finally released from the Brewers. Uh, Rosne Contreras, he's a he's a he's an interesting pitcher. Um, he's kind of very high on a lot of people's radars, but Rosne Contreras, uh, Pirates. Pirates got a lot of good young guys. It's a matter of can they actually gel together. Jonathan India going into the hits, the uh, Gold Cup Rookie of the Year last year for the Reds. And I do throw Gold Cups, Future Stars, all that stuff into the hits and second year guys. Lamont Wade, who is out for a while right now with the Giants. Herman Marquez, who is kind of having a mess season. Tyler O'Neill, I think the same thing with him for the Cardinals. Maybe he got too yoked. Toronto Talent, I guess that's a hit. Wouldn't that be a hit? Is that a hit? Yeah, it's Vladdy and Bo. Bo Show. Gonna be in the hits either way. Those two players are the future. And, oh, Casey Mize, man, that's sad. Casey Mize, you won't see him for about a year. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, he's still a hit in my eyes. Whatever. Sue me. Brandon Lowe for the, the uh, Tampa Bay Rays. Luis Garcia with the Gold Cup. Uh, with that big old mullet of his. But Jose Garcia, the rookie pitcher for the Astros. Last year's rookie pitcher. We'll go to all, get past all of those cards. And we'll get ourselves another Peyton Henry rookie. I pulled that in the blaster box. Show it to you in case you didn't see it. But that's Peyton Henry, a rookie catcher for the Marlins. And I know nothing about him. Nick Ahmed for the D-backs. Jeff McNeil for the Mets. We got Luis Frias for the Diamondbacks as well. We pulled him uh, in the blaster box. And if you didn't know, Wander does have a rookie in this, evidently. I don't know. I haven't seen him. David Fletcher. Bailey Ober for the Twins. Seth Beer, another rookie I just pulled in the blaster. But that is what his card looks like. Former Astro and was traded in the Zach Greinke deal uh, a couple years back. Nico Horner having a solid season for the Cubs. Chad Cool for the Pirates. Mark Colsaveri for the Reds, a rookie backstop, probably in AAA, although he might be in the bigs now because with uh, Tower Stevenson on the IL. Got Nick Madrigal with the Future Stars. So this is very uh, similar to the Blaster Box now, the uh, print run. And we got uh, Elvis Pagero for the Reds with, I mean the Angels with the rookie card. Gonna go down here there, Elvis, and then Juan Yepes, another uh, another Juan Yepes rookie for the Cardinals, and he's having a decent hit, uh, season. Him and Jack Swinski are kind of like the cream of the crop in the National League right now. Glenn Otto, another uh, landscape rookie here for the Rangers, and Carlos Santana, who just got traded to the Mariners, the Pirates team card, the Guardians team card, Jackie Bradley, another PC hit, the Mets uh, superstars, and the Big Apple. Manny Margot, Kente Maeda, Josh Lowe, he's actually, I forgot about him. He's one of the big rookies in this set, in my opinion. Josh Lowe is, um, he's young, he was a first round draft pick and just another guy they developed. And by the way, they love all their Lowe's, literally. They love everybody with the last name Lowe. So if you're a Lowe and you're a baseball player, let Tampa Bay know they might draft, they might pick you up. Uh, Kevin Ploiecki uh, for the Red Sox, Roman Quinn for the Phillies, Jacob Robson for the Tigers, the 28 year old uh, rookie, Probably in Toledo right now. I couldn't tell you though, sorry. Uh, Roberto Perez for the Guardians. Dylan Moore for the Mariners. Tucker Barnhart for the uh, Tigers from a red. Luis Patino, who is in Durham, I believe, but pitcher for, I think he actually might be injured. Uh, Yuli Gurriel, why are you in there, sorry. Yuli Gurriel, and when now it's time for our inserts. Our it is a Adam Duvall card, I can tell you that much. Adam Duvall with the significant statistics. Average launch angle, 23.6. Adam Duvall going into, well, I don't buy this for Adam Duvall, I'll tell you that much. Good player, but come on. 87 tops here, all-star Cal Rifkin Jr. with the 87 tops all-star card. I guess I need an old man vet pop for this one. And then we got four of our stars in the MLB. We got ourselves Shohei. Uh, our first real hit, for God's sakes, our first real hit of the day. The stars of the MLB, Shohei Otani. The guy is just an animal again this year. And then Cedric Mullins. 
Cedric Mullins for the Orioles. Had a solid season last year. He's been okay this year, but yeah, either way, Cedric Mullins going into uh, oh, this pile. Yeah, all right. And then we got another star of the MLB. It is Joey Votto. Joey Votto for the Reds. Yep, I like Joey, but either way, Joey's still going to go into the pile down here with Cedric Mullins. Okay. Should have one more stars of the MLB. We do. It is uh, Neil Gold. Neil. Neil. I grew up in Oregon. Neil Goldschmidt was the governor. Paul Goldschmidt, who is having a solid season, very MVP right now. But will he continue? Probably. He's definitely a solid bat, but Goldschmidt's got no hobby love. Great ball player, but we did get a gold, a gold, not a rookie, a gold, New York Met, a gold, Mark Kana, Kana. I always butcher, I want to say Mark Kahana, but it's not the H's at the end. Uh, with the gold parallel, number two, put you here, to 2022. 0669, I'm not going to go there, but Mark Kahana, um, definitely not a hit, but hey, if you're actually he is a hit in some people's eyes, like his parents. And then we got a chrome, stars the MLB with George Springer. Yeah, George Springer with the chrome, uh, stars the MLB. So there is your... Uh, Top Series 2 hanger box. Was this hanger a banger? No, not at all. Not at all. Did this hanger suck? Ah, oh, highly, highly likely it did. We, don't get me wrong, we got a couple parallels. We got some okay, uh, the Stars of the we got four of those cards. Uh, we got those, I mean, this, no, this was pretty bad. I'm gonna be honest with you, it was a pretty bad blaster. I mean, hanger box. Our rookies, we got Jacob Robson, Josh Lowe, probably our best rookie, Glenn Otto, Juan Yepes, solid rookie, Pagero, Kozlovitsky, Seth Beer, Luis Frias, Peyton Henry, Rosny Contreras, sure, I'll put you up there, Colin Barnes, Oatverton, Riddings, Revis, and TJ Fradel. So, I mean, uh, Juan Yepes and Josh Lowe, at least for me, are the best rookies. Uh, for the uh, inserts and parallels, we got the Springer Chrome, Mark Kahana with the gold, Goldschmidt, Votto, and Mullins with the stars of the MLB, and Adam Duvall. Yeah, I mean, the hits, and you know how I am, how loose I am with the hits. It's Luis Garcia, Shohei, honestly might be the best card, Nick Madrigal, Casey Mize, Toronto team card, uh, India, and Barrero. Yeah, so this was pretty much a, uh, a pretty crappy rip. I'm gonna be honest with you. So this hanger did not have a banger. This hanger did not have the hits. This hanger gave me the sh uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching Ripping Backs on this first look special edition new release episode of the Top Series Two Hanger Box. I wouldn't be here if you weren't watching. So hit that subscribe, and after you're done doing that, that like button, you can smash it. That notification bell, you do what you like to it. And again, leave a comment. Following the other episodes is what's the rook you're looking for here? I didn't pull it. But Josh Lowe is cool, uh, Juan Yepes is cool, but yeah, I didn't pull the rookie I wanted. Then again, the checklist, if you saw it, uh, it's going to be pretty slim and none getting those rookies. Anyway, thank you so much for watching Ripping Backs. Come back tomorrow on Wednesday. I will be doing a, uh, or whatever, whenever I post this, a, uh, a Blaster Box battle with Sean over at Card Dojo. We are going to be ripping open the Fanatics exclusive Blaster Box of Prism Football. You're going to have to let us who know who wins. Yeah, let me know who wins and let him know who wins. One of us has got to win. Anyway, thank you so much. Have yourself a great day. And until then, always rip some packs.